Go ahead. Are you comfortable? Yes. Can you see the monitor okay? Yes, I can. This video okay, helps explain started. how the interactive breath hold control system can assist you in more accurately scanning or performing biopsies of the chest and abdominal areas where respiratory motion is a problem. During CT scanning or CT guided procedures, this system will help the patient reproduce consistent levels of suspended inspiration or expiration on command, allowing you to more accurately target the area or lesion of interest. Patient cooperation with breath holding is critical to the success and safety of many CT guided procedures. During normal breathing, organs and lesions in the lung and abdomen can vary in position up to six centimeters in the superior to inferior direction. The interactive breath hold control system has proven to help the patient take in a consistent and reproducible breath hold so that the chest and abdomen end up in the same position each time and the target area can be accurately visualized throughout the scan or procedure. Before the procedure begins, a belt is wrapped around the patient's chest or abdomen and attached to an electronic display. The bellows should be stretched and the belt wrapped tightly enough so that it does not shift in position on the patient, but not so tightly that it can't expand and contract when the patient breathes in and out. Make sure that nothing is obstructing the rubber tubing on the belt. As the patient breathes in and out, the belt will send signals to the display. You and the patient will be able to see a row of lights showing how far up and down the chest or abdomen is moving. To begin, you'll ask the patient to take in a breath and hold it. This can be done at any level of inspiration or expiration. The display will then be adjusted by pressing a button so that breath hold position lights up the red light at the center. When you're ready to start the procedure, you will ask the patient to take the same breath and hold it. The patient will simply breathe in until the red light in the center lights up. That shows the target area is at the same position as before. Have the patient practice this several times before the procedure begins. Patients have reported that this device is very easy to use. When you're ready to begin scanning, ask the patient to take the same breath and light up the center red light. This will show you where the target area is located when the chest and abdomen are at the breath hold level. If you are performing a biopsy, you can instruct the patient to use the system to light the center red light every time they're instructed to hold their breath. During the procedure, tell the patient to take the same breath each time a picture is taken or the needle is manipulated. This will allow you to consistently visualize the target area in the same location throughout the procedure. Take more pictures as needed during the procedure until the needle is within the target area. Stress to the patient that it's important to lie very still once the target has been located. Moving the body even a little bit will move the target and make it more challenging to complete the procedure. Most patients find it easy to lie still on the table for the length of the procedure. The interactive breath hold control system works regardless of the patient's position on the table. In summary, each time the patient is asked to take a breath and hold it, he or she uses the display to make sure the same breath hold position is reached. The patient needs to lie still throughout the procedure so the target area doesn't move. This system can help you perform the procedure as efficiently as possible and has proven to decrease procedure time, radiation exposure, needle puncture attempts, patient and physician anxiety, and procedure-related complications.